Hi guys, this is Yunmin. So you decided to start code and since you're watching this, it sounds like you need to choose a code editor. In this video, I will introduce you Visual Studio Code, which is one of the best code editors. It's not a sponsored video, just VS Code is widely used code editors due to its awesome UI and UX. So, it would be a good start for you for coding with VS Code. You can write and modify the code here. I'll tell you some basic functions of VS Code. Before we start, it's true that you have to download and install it. If you don't have enough space in your local PC, you can go and edit your code at vscode.dev, which is a web-based version of VS Code. Anyway, let's download the editor unless you're going to code once. Go to Visual Studio Code website and click download. It's available for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. Now that the installation is completed, let's dive into it. Open your Visual Studio Code and then click open in the start time menu and choose your project folder if it already exists or make your own folder for your project. The screen you're looking at is editor. Its main area to add in your files, you can open as many editor as you like side by side, vertically and horizontally. Sidebar contains different views like the Explorer to assist you while working on your project. Status bar includes information about the open project and the files you edit. If you press Command J, the panels appear. You can display different panels below the editor reason for problems, output or debug information, or an integrated terminal. On the left side, we have an activity bar, which lets you switch between views and gives you additional context-specific indicators. Starting at the top, you'll see File Explorer where you can find your current files and folders. In Explorer tab, you can check which files are in the project folder. If you have multiple files and you want to see them all at once in Editor Group section on the right side, you can split the screen into multiple by clicking this button on the upper right corner like this. Moreover, you can split it into more various forms by using Editor Layout option menu. Also, you can drag and drop the files to the Code Editor screen from the activity bar. You can close file by clicking this button. The File Explorer is one of the views in VS Code. There are also other views. Search. It provides global search and replace across your open folder. With this search bar, you can search text that you wrote. Let me show you how. Type something that you'd like to find, then VS Code displays keywords that you search it. Source control. VS Code includes good source control by default. You can track changes and see different versions of your code files. Run and debug tab. VS Code's run and debug view displays variables, code stacks, and breakpoints. You can run and debug your code in here. And the extensions view. You can download and manage extensions for almost anything. In the center, we have the command palette, which is the control center for all of the actions here in VS Code. From here, you can have access to all of the functionality of VS Code, including keyboard shortcuts for the most common operations. Now that we've seen basic functions of VS Code Editor, let's see how it works. See? How easy it is! Now you can code easily whenever you want through VS Code Editor. Hope you enjoy your coding! Thanks for watching this video, and if you have any feedbacks or something you'd like to discuss, please comment below. Bye!